Hello everybody, welcome to Deja Vu Creations and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to be making a journal book um, for your character so um, that you can even add in your, one of your bookshelves or on your computer desk. It's really easy and simple to do. Um, I even created the tabs. I did the tabs actually in Blender just so to make it less prim to be using it so the total prim that I used on this was three which is actually quite a bit for a book but if you wanted to go even less than that you can actually just do it all in blender um, and I did mine in second life and blender so and it came out pretty dang good so anyway let's go ahead and get started you will be needing blender Photoshop and of course second life and Pinterest if you want to go in there and look at some get some ideas for your book all right, let's go ahead and get started. Also guys, just real quick, I just wanna say, don't forget to like and subscribe um, to my channel so that I can put more uh, content out for you guys. Um, and I do appreciate you guys watching my videos. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so right now I'm just using um, the build mode, um, just doing a cube. And we're, I already made my pages will eventually edit that and do some texturing to it so the top part now i'm doing um, for the top of the book and i'm just using a half of a cube and let me get this in here one second i'm just trying to look for some good texture i'm just going to do blank for now because we're going to add our own texture I kind of had to speed through this because it's a long video and I didn't want to go want it to go too too long on you guys so okay this is the back part that we're gonna add so I'm gonna just kind of shrink it down and just put it to the back so all I did was just kind of copy and the um, pages and put the the binder back here or will the book back here I do see I need to adjust the top here, so I'm doing that real quick. Okay, everything looks pretty good. Now we need to do the bottom part. I'm gonna just make a copy of the top here. So we're gonna do a copy, and we're gonna flip it over, rotate it. Just like that. And this will be the back of our book. I didn't add any um, like texture to the back of the book. I just left it blank. So, I and mean, if you want to add something to the back, you're more than welcome to. Like I said, design your book the way that you want. And if you want to add more stuff to it, I would suggest doing a lot of your stuff in Blender so that the prim does not get too high on this book. Because, like I said, three is pretty high for a book. I mean, it should be only one. But, um, like I said, I could bring it down more, you know, and just do it all in, in Blender, which I might end up doing. But I like my book the way it is right now. Um, we'll just have to wait and see how I'm going to do this. So, anyway, just follow along. And, um, like I said, if you have any questions or you want to talk about anything um, about how to maybe do something different with it please share your ideas with me as well I would love to hear them all right so we're gonna to try to get through this video and I'll pop in and out um, to try to explain some things to you guys as well as I go along um, a lot of my ideas I do get in Pinterest um, I love Pinterest because it gives me some ideas and if I see something that kind of sticks out for me that I could probably use either in textures or maybe my, some of my designs that I do, I'll go ahead and save it into my folder and then I'll just apply it to, you know, whatever I want to in Photoshop, kind of do my own design. So you'll see me sometimes take something from Pinterest, but I'll erase majority of it and just kind of use their their design that they've got going and add my own stuff to it so because you don't really want to copy theirs like i mean use their stuff from pinterest you kind of want to 
come up with your own ideas. That's why I love creating. I, I love doing this stuff. So um, anyway, I found a design that I like, but I figured I found out that my cover, the top cover is rotated wrong. So I had to adjust that to get it to the right um, place here. So that's what I'm doing right now. But we're going to pop into um, Photoshop here in just a second and start designing our book. I'm not going to use this. This is just for a reference to kind of see how the top cover looks. And it's a good thing I did because it was um, rotated wrong. So anyway, I'm adjusting it now. So you might want to adjust yours too if you need to. Go ahead and do that before you go into Photoshop. Okay, so now that we're in Photoshop, I'm just going to kind of add some things in here. Just kind of look at what ideas I want to come up with from what I found in um, Pinterest. So I, I definitely want to add her picture into the book so that it represents her um, and um, her fashion because she loves fashion. So what we're going to do is just kind of just lay things out on the table here is pretty much what I'm saying but I am going to like I said bring something in here in just a bit and um, kind of show you what I come up with but you know feel free to use your ideas and and make your own book the way you want um, this is kind of a, just a fun little thing that I thought we could do instead of making clothes all the time or makeup all the time just something a little different but anyway, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and get going on this. Um, I'm going to kind of speed through this so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm doing on the um, layout of her cover here.
Okay, so I just realized that part of my um, cover here is blank. We don't want that to look like that. We need to kind of fill in those empty spaces. So I'm going to go back into Photoshop and readjust all this real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so now it looks a lot better now that I've added more stuff to it. It looks more to me like a book, a cover. Um, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks great. Um, so I am going to start adding the tabs to it. I do need to probably add something on the side of that, on the back of that book, the hard part. The, I guess you want to call it the spine part. Um, I eventually will be adding something to that, but just not right now. Right now I'm going to go ahead and go in here and start doing my tabs. So I'm just shrinking this down, and I'm going to go do Control-C and Control-V, and that's going to just copy out my tabs here. And I'm going to just shrink them down every, like every other one. It kind of make different uh, sizes here, because I don't want them all to be the same. Now, whenever you go to link all these, make sure to select every one of these and then press join. It's on the side here. Okay, and then um, don't do that. Okay, just kind of follow along what I'm doing. Just make sure that they're all highlighted like a gold color before going into um, the UV map part. This is how I usually do it. You can do it however you want. If you guys have a certain way of doing it, that's fine. Um, but this is how I do mine. I just like to make sure that they're all highlight gold before moving it over. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my sides over here. Make sure everything is lined up and adjusted here. So, and then we'll go ahead and bring that into Second Life and then go into Photoshop to do the texturing. So I ended up starting, I, we started out with numbering them, which 
I really didn't need to do that. This is just a waste of time, so don't do that. Um, you can actually skip over this and just add textures to it. It seems to work better whenever doing the tabs. Um, but if you're wanting, you know, this way you can decide if you want to write on them or which, whatever you want to do is, you know, cause I even thought about putting like some little notes on those tabs, but definitely make sure to, you know, either number them or texture them. This way you'll know exactly which, which way is the face up. Okay. All right guys. So this is pretty much it for the end of the video. Um, just, you know, make sure you texture your, your cubes, your little squares here. This way you have your tabs done and, uh, guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i just want to say thank you so much for watching my video and stay safe and god bless y'all have a wonderful night take care